What's up everyone? My name is Ian and you're watching Wildcat MTG. Uh, it's been a minute, like it's probably actually in reality only been like a month and a half, but it, it feels like long enough. So I'm gonna say it's been a minute. And uh, I felt like opening some Modern Horizons 2, so today we're gonna crack a draft booster box. As you can see, this one had a little bit of damage to it, which was basically all the permission I needed to open it. So without further ado, let's crack some packs and see how we do. The other day I was uh, just watching some other channels, probably watching a couple of my favorites out there, probably Jake and Joel or Pack Opening Addict or whatever, and just had some random musings like, like wow, there's gonna come a point in time when Modern Horizons 2 is out of print. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do then because I feel like this has been like the one constant in our life since uh, for like the last year, right? Like since like last April, April, 2021. Um, yeah, it just, it dawned on me like there's gonna come a point in time when Modern Horizons 2 isn't just readily available whenever you want. And that's a scary thought. It was scary to me. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. Um, if I'm previously, I think we're always on the hunt for Ragavan, so I'm never gonna be like upset if I, if I do pull a Ragavan. But I'm actually kind of looking for a couple of the uh, couple of the uh, solitary confinement. I was not looking for that. <laughs> I'm actually looking for a couple of the elementals, uh, Master of Death, and the Traitor token. Um, I have almost everything I'm looking for. I mean, I have some of these in spades, but uh, I'm actually short. I think in endurance at this point. So, I'd like to crack an endurance. I've opened up a ton of Solitudes, which I am not unhappy about. Uh, Necrogoyf, okay, and Flourishing Strike. But uh, yeah, I'm actually down, um, I think, an Endurance. So uh, if I could crack one of those, that'd be great. Um, otherwise, fetch lands are always appreciated. There's plenty of goodies in this set. Fun for the whole family. I'm gonna skip right ahead. Got our Squirrel Sovereign. Arcbound Javelinier, Monoskelion. Scourge Familiar, and Soul, Soul Talisman. I'm also on the hunt for a very specific Esper Sentinel. Um, I have three of the sketches, and I would actually really like a fourth sketch, just so I have a playset of the sketch, because that was my favorite art version of it. Um, again, if I pulled a regular version, I would not be uh, at all unhappy, but if we're asking for things, I'm gonna ask for the sketch. Mistress Factory, Sanctum Weaver, Goblin Bombardment. So our first foil rare of the box is Goblin Bombardment. Eh, little ho-hum, nothing crazy. Not a not a complete train wreck, but definitely not a value hit either. Yeah, it's just looking at, I was like contemplating looking, you know, I was looking at the lineup for 2022. Um, we've already seen a little bit of uh, Streets of Kepena. Obviously, uh, you know, Kamigawa is off to a roaring start for 2022. Um, and we know that we have double masters lined up. <laughs> Territorial Kabu in the uh, retro border. Okie dokie. Um, so, you know, at some point we have the Brothers War. We're going to have Jumpstart 2. We're going to have Commander Legends 2, the Baldur's Gate. Uh, what are we going to We're going to get uh, the Unset at the beginning of the year, Unfinity. So 2022 looks like it's going to have quite the lineup. Um, but that kind of... Ooh, okay, so we've got our first Mythic of the box. This is Dakon Shadow Slayer. Uh, again, the Mythics, like, as far as the Planeswalkers are concerned, aren't all that great in this set. It's kind of, it's really weird because it's almost like a miss. Um, but there we are. First Mythic of the box. Daka, Dakon Shadow Slayer. But yeah, so we have, like, what looks to be a pretty impressive lineup. But it just made me appreciate um, Modern Horizons 2 that much more because I feel like this set has really been carrying the load for sets for basically the last year now. Patchwork Gnomes, Glimpse of Tomorrow, and Arcbound Slasher as the foil. Uh, I mean, I've said great things about the Time Spiral Remastered product, but that just had so many issues with it not being readily available for, for consumption and for enjoyment on the level that it should have been that I really have a hard time like giving that set points, even though it's also one of my favorite sets from the last year or so. So for the most part, when you consider all of the other sets that have come out, and, hey, Imperial Recruiter, there we go. So we've got our second Mythic of the Box. Uh, not bummed about getting an Imperial Recruiter, especially out of that reprint slot, so that is very nice. And we followed up with a Search the Premises and a Squirrel Token. 
Uh, but, you know, Modern Horizons 2, it really has been that one constant for us where if you think about any set in its, you know, past its, its production period um, and what fetch lands bring to the table, this set will always have fetch lands in it. And I think that in, in and of itself has been a selling point for a lot of other sets. Like, hey, it's got fetch lands. There you go. Fetch lands, right? But this set is so much more. Chance Encounter. Third Mythic of the Box. This is Scion of Draco. Draco. I can never get that right. Uh, but Scion of Draco. And uh, eh, pseudo desirable. Um, pseudo desirable Mythic. So we're uh, two, three packs away from our first third of the box being done. No fetchies yet. But we do have three Mythics. Um, not like huge value hits, but eh, we're, still, we're still doing okay. But my point being is that a lot of the times, fetch lands by themselves are enough to propel a set to being a successful set. Um, it almost doesn't even matter what the rest of the rares or mythics in the set look like because you've got fetch lands, harmonic prodigy, arcbound whelp, and squirrel token. But this set, I mean, when you think about all that it brings to the table, right? It has it has fetch lands. Uh, we have, as far as the other rare lands are concerned, we also have Urza Saga. Uh, we have, um, gosh, what am I thinking of? Yabamaya. We have <laughs> Larry Nevin's disc, Verdant Command. Last pack of the first third of the box. Uh, so we've got, you know, not only do we have the Fetch Land Cycle, but we have Yabamaya. We also have Cabal Coffers. We also have Urzas. Um, and that's just from lands, right? But on top of that, now we've got all of the elementals, and pretty much all of them are good in C play between Fury, between, of course, Solitude and Endurance. Grief, subtlety, super strong rare ele or mythic land, uh, mythic elemental cycle. The set is just loaded, and if the prices are holding, if you think about all the Modern Horizons two that has already been opened because it's almost a universally, other than the price point, I think a pretty, pretty uh, otherwise well regarded set, and the amount of packs that have been opened, and yet these price points are still holding the way they are. Ooh, there we go. Hey, all right. Scalding Tarn. Let's go. Very nice. Our first fetch land of the box is a Scalding Tarn. Still beautiful, still desired. I will take it. Hey, and a foil counter spell. Kind of shiny, kind of neat. I will take it. Um, but again, that, that thought I had the other day was, hey, wait a minute. There's going to come a point in time where Modern Horizons 2 is not just I can pick it up anytime I want. Um, <clears throat> that'll be an interesting place. And I would venture to say it's right around when we see Double Masters 2 come out. It'll be quite interesting to see how Modern Horizons 2, Magus of the Bridge, um, if it is pushed to the side or, or still highly coveted once we see Double Masters 2 come out. And I think part of that is going to also depend on what Double Masters 2 has to offer. Are we going to see VIP, uh, the VIP packs again? Uh, are we going to see collector boxes of Double Masters 2? Um, that will be an interesting conversation as well. Saw Mythic. So we've got Bone Shredder and we've got Chatterfang, the Squirrel General. Uh, probably only like five bucks at this point, but a, a Mythic nonetheless. I still like good old Chatterfang. And what I like about those is obviously there was a lot of hype around that card because Squirrels got some love and so people started building Squirrel Tribal. The thing about Tribal is like, they're pretty much always going to add to it, right? Like, you have some really weird tribes out there. Like, I don't know, the last time we saw, like, Griffin Tribe or whatever. But, uh, you know, if it's zombies or goblins or even squirrels, you know that as sets march on uh, and we get more and more, you're just going to get more tribal support eventually. Sudden Edict, Gorilla Shaman, and Fractured Sanity. That's a pretty sweet little rare. A few bucks right there. And the Phyrexian Germ. Uh... Which always makes things like holding, you know, having some small uh, position in like Chatterfang or even some of the, the wonky tribal stuff. Um, if you're talking like zombies, you know, they, they kind of come and go. But then every once in a while you get something super strong like a Necro Duality and that bumps up the tribe right front and center again. Got Karmic Guide from that retro or that reprint slot. Good old Diamond Lion. So, uh, yeah, you, who knows what sort of, uh, you know, again, I think when Modern Horizons 2 got spoiled and you started seeing some of the squirrel, the squirrel tribal support, all of a sudden a lot of those tribal cards got a huge boost. And then, of course, as it tends to happen, they they uh, they come back to Earth and they die down as kind of everyone gets over the fad. But um, there's, there's always going to be more support, right, down the line somewhere. We just never know what it is. 
suspend. All right, so we're about halfway through the box, and uh, I don't think we're killing it. Um, I don't think we're getting killed, but the mythic slot's a little bit weak uh, as far as value is concerned. We have a number of mythics, like five mythics is not a bad place to be, but nothing super valuable there. Um, our rare slot, as far as like the high-end rares, is really, really bare, and we only have one fetch land. So Sterling Grove, Rockerick, and Nested Shambler in the... Uh, Retro foil. So we could certainly use a little bit of spice. All this talking up I've been doing about what are we going to do without Modern Horizons 2. And uh, so far the box has been a little, little on the weak side. But still plenty of time. Where are we at? All right, Archfiend. Headliner. Extruder. Damn, damn. Uh, this card has come. I'm still going to put it in the cool card pile. And as far as like the, the good rare pile, it's at this point I would say damn is probably... I don't know, maybe three bucks is what I want to say offhand. So not like a huge value hit either, but, you know, it's cool enough that I'll put it up there. All right, we've got a Prophetic Titan, Abiding Grace, Vectus Gloves, Ugh, Fire and Ice, oof. Hey, all right, there we go. Marsh Flats, second fetchy of the box. We got ourselves a Marsh Flats. Not too shabby. I will never be upset about a Marsh Flats. And a Foil Aeromiba. I was really hoping for one of those, so phew, glad I got that. Gross, Aramiba. You're gross. No one likes you. Terrible. All right, two fetches, though. That uh, at least gets us back on the right track. It's a nice, it's a better place to be, especially having, heading into that last third of the box. So we've got Zeron Orb. Oh, snap! Yeah, there we go. Retro Border, Arid Mesa, for our third fetch land of the box. And that is a nice hit right there. Again, Arid Mason and Marsh Lats are not the most desirable of the fetch land cycle, but so what? And Retro Frame. It's a good looking card. It really is. Uh, that is fantastic. Not even a little upset about that. So now we're up to three fetches. Much better place to be. Modern Horizons 2. What can I say? Like Old Faithful. Ren's Run Hydra. Mog Salvage. Territorial Kavu. Clue. Getting the clue. All right, last pack of the middle section of the box. We did land a couple of fetch lands out of it already, so not all bad. Certainly helped us out a little bit. Where are we at now? Nested Shambler, sure. All right, we've got Glinting Creeper, Underworld Hermit, Sweep the Skies, Shardless Agent for the Cascade Agent, and Void Mirror. Couple rare pack, but not solid there. I mean, eh, Void Mirror is okay. It doesn't see the amount of play. I actually thought that card, uh, when it first was was previewed, I thought Void Mirror was going to be like a real card, and it sees a little bit of play, but not nearly the, the the impact that I imagined that it would actually have when I first saw it. Ren's Run Hydra, Seal of Cleansing, Dermo Taxi, terrible. All right, and Food Token. Okay, so we're gonna need like we're gonna need some help. We're gonna need some Urza Saga, we're gonna need some Esper Sentinel, we're gonna need some Yavamaya or some um Dalfi Voidwalker. That rare slot is looking this cupboard is super bare. Also feel like we should be good for at least one more uh foil rare or for or foil mythic. Another karmic guide out of that reprint slot, and we've got another mythic. It is our sixth mythic of the box. It is again not like a huge value hit, but we have Torak Dread Cantor. He's seeing a little bit of play, um, just because that prot white comes in handy in a, in a. There's that. There's that uh, foil rare. There's Chef's Kiss. Uh, good looking card. Not a ton of value. Uh, but the uh, Torak does see a little bit of play because in a in a meta that has uh, Solitude running around, prot white um, does have some value to it. So it's worth a few bucks. It's not a killer mythic, but it's not a dumpster fire mythic either. It's not. Dare I say Garth out loud? And now that I've said that, I'm almost assuredly going to pull one. All right, we've got Constable of the Realm, Squirrel Sovereign, Ravenous Squirrel. Get those squirrels. my Elder, and uh, a Progenitor, uh, Progenitor Oof, if you will. Womp Womp. All right, let's pick it up here. Really need something spicy from that rare slot. Uh, we're going to need a, a Saga or, or Esper Sentinel or something to save the day from that slot because 
It's going to be pretty hard to be successful without it. All right, we've got Blossoming Calm. Capricorn. Sanctuary Raptor. Soul Snare. Oh, Mark Grave. Okay, a couple bucks. Not a huge hit, but uh, it's a couple bucks. And a clue. Three fetches, though. We're not in awful shape, but, yeah, when you think about the fact that we've got, you know, six Mythics, and I think the most valuable Mythic of the of the bunch is maybe 5 or $6 from that recruiter, it's not a desirable spot to be in right now. Uh, Dragon's Ray Chandler. Milliken. Obsidian Charmaw. Wave Sifter Foil. Yeah. So you see clunky boxes sometimes, and um, right now this box fits into that uh, clunker Modern Horizons 2 category. This box is, uh, yeah, this box at this point is is it is a disappointment. We we have some we have a little bit of time left, but we're we're running out of time, which is another card in this set that I'll probably pull. Sea Drake, Karth the Lion, uh, Bulk Mythic Land, or Bulk Bulk Rare Land, excuse me. All right, box, come on. We're gonna need some help here. Gotta have it. Gotta have some help. All right, we got Radiant Epicure. Hey, Prismatic ending in the retro. I was just gonna say, I don't think I've seen a Prismatic. Counterspell. Yeah, all right, all right. Had to have something. Had to have something there. And uh, the bestest monkey, he comes through. You know, wow. Okay, so, I mean, that's probably still a $75, $80 card. So that in and of itself is, is bringing the box back to life. We've got the bestest monkey, Ragavan. Uh, story time. Um, many of you who have been following me long enough kind of know this already, but for those of you who may be a little bit newer or just turning, tuning in, uh, I opened up 16. I was on my 17th box of Modern Horizons 2 before I opened up a single Ragavan. You heard that correctly. Ooh, I see something. Ah, oh, I was hoping it was an elemental, but we'll take a borderless Chatterfang, Chatterfang as well. He's not as cool as the monkey, but we'll still take the Chatterfang. Borderless Chatterfang. So we're at one, two, three, what are we at? Seven mythics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven mythics and three fetches, of which one is a Ragavan. So it took me, I was on my 17th box of Modern Horizons 2 product. So that's collector, set, draft, all com all combined before I opened up my first Ragavan. And since that time, I think I've opened three or four boxes and I've pulled another two Ragavans. So all of a sudden my percentage has gotten a lot better. Uh, out of time. <laughs> Made that joke. All right, three packs left. Uh, Ragavan definitely saving this box when when Ragavan is, gosh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say offhand Ragavan is probably let's just call it 80, and a box that it cost me $200. So Ragavan is making up you know what is that 40% of the box. Uh, then we've got some fetches in there, so that's helpful. Uh, we're probably at least breaking even only if only because of the Ragavan at this point. Usury, Fortune's Flame, and Steel, Drum Dairy. All right, two packs left. Can we get another fetch land? Man, this this rare slot. Like, if it wasn't for this Ragavan at this point, this box would be approaching catastrophic. Why can't I seem to open the packs today? They do not want to open. Busted box, busted packs. Yep, yeah, there we go. Can we get something spicy, please? Infiltrator, Altar of the Goyf, Greed, Calibrated Blast, ugh, gross. All right, last pack. Last pack, and then we'll do a quick recap here. Oh, thank goodness for the monkey, though. Holy moly. If not, if not for Ragavan. Enchantress Presence, and eh, Noble Hierarch. Not a huge hit. But uh, I'm never upset about seeing one either. I still like that card long term. I still think that eventually this is, once this goes out of print, that's probably like a 10 to $15 card. All right, well, uh, Ragavan definitely saved the box. Um, huge hit right there. Three fetches, uh, one in being the retro frame. So not all bad, but other than that, ooh, this box could have been tragic if not for that Ragavan. But yet another Modern Horizons 2 box that I've enjoyed, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. And uh, if you did, if you like the content, please remember to drop me a like. Uh, drop me a comment and uh, subscribe as well. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.